So I just got a Boog or Bogue as they're referred to the other day, the Behringer Model D clone. Um, and I have it routed from the MIDI out on my monologue. And I kind of came up with this riff and I just want to go over how I actually built it. Um, so I'll play the riff first. That's too loud. Okay. So, simple little thing, but there's a lot of pieces to it. Um, we'll start with the monologue. Um, monologue is two oscillators, uh, two VCOs, and we will start with just the one VCO, and the other VCO without the LFO modifying the sound. So, I guess if I turn that on the one shot. Yeah. What is the easiest way to just turn this off? I guess I gotta turn it down. We'll tune it back in. So this is one VCO in the monologue. Add in the second VCO. Um, the second VCO I have, I believe, tuned to like a third or a fifth off of the first VCO. So here was the first one. Uh, it's C. And then the second one. So you can hear that's a bit higher. We do the two of them together. some of that raspiness. Now, I also added in the LFO, so if I just hold a note and bring this in, so I'll play the riff to kind of tune that into place. You can hear it's kind of slow, so I'll do it again and adjust it up. Just a littlest bit got the rate on the LFO better. Um, and that's also, the LFO is modulating the cutoff. So if I change it to like the shape. It sounds a little different for the pitch. Obviously not the sound we're going for. Um, so just the two VCOs kind of tuned off of each other and the LFO modulating the cutoff gets us this. So now I will uh, turn the monologue down. There's nothing on there and I'll turn uh, just the first VCO on the Boog kind of just like a brassy horn sound um, and then I think I might have tuned I did the same thing with oscillator 2 on the boot yeah so here's oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 I don't think it's a full octave up um, so the two of them together. Pretty warm sound. Um, and then if I bring the monologue back into that. So, 
again. That's just the monologue. That's just the boog. And then the two of them together. And then the other cool thing is um, obviously the uh, filter oh. is what makes the boog really special. both of them going at the same time. I'll just play that riff and as I'm playing it slowly bring the cutoff frequency up on the filter. Unfortunately, don't have enough patch cables right now. I can't even hook up my diggy tack along with these two into the mixer. But I kind of want to have a I'm actually not like, sure where my slow roll come in, so that riff will build up. The cutoff filter or the cutoff frequency on the filter will go higher and higher, and then you'll just get this like and then you know we'll see where it goes from there. But um, you know, I just kind of twiddle things until they kind of sound right, and then I'll hone in just, you know, Not one little thing at a time. Right? But usually I try and start with uh, taking just the oscillators clean without the filters mm -hmm. and, like, picking uh, either an octave or um, some, some spread of the tune knob against each other. So, like, if we just have... If I turn off, that's oscillator one. That's oscillator one and two pretty close to each other. And then I'll just tune two up. Right there. And then I'll move off from that. So. You end up with final riff.